Okay, so this is the gun that's been modified according to Colin Furs. Trigger is clamped down. Fill tank water. So we'll just take that out. Um, the low ring. Ooh, a bit more. Stop. Mm, yes. Okay, a bit more. Again. Again. Keep going. More. More. Okay, we've got a big leak. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, it's just doing birds. Ooh, a bit more. Stop. Mm, yes. Okay, a bit more. Again. Again. Keep going. More. Okay, we've got a big leap. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, it's starting to deform. Yeah, but it, it's, it can't go any further because it's such a big leap. There we are. We'll drain it a bit, weld it a bit. Um, clearly you wouldn't want me to make your space capsule for you because uh, there'd be no air inside it. Yeah. Oh, go. Stop. Look for leaks. It looks like it bulged a bit. Very tiny hole. Tiny, there's yeah. tiny mist here. Nothing much else. It's there. not the seal here, is it? No, no, no. It's coming out from the bracket. Right. Okay, just go for it. Keep going. I think, I think there's a bit of a leak now, something. Oh, ah, well, <laughs> it's, it's changed shape. The weld so didn't break. So the weld didn't break, so the metal broke. The metal tore. Next to the weld. So that, but that's softer metal, isn't it, because it's been heated. been doing some homework now on why bits of it stretched and other bits didn't stretch. Um, in most of the videos you see with hydroforming they're using mild steel welded together and um, for any metal um, as you pull it this is how far you stretch it in like a testing machine 
and this is the actual kind of force or tension in the actual metal so in the first bit if you stretch it and then let go it'll spring back um, so with steel you'll see you stretch it a little bit and it'll spring back stretch it a bit more you get this wheel point where it yields and then from then on as you stretch it the tension in the metal doesn't really increase much in fact it's almost level then it reaches this point where it won't stretch anymore and it resists stretching so that's good so if you're inflating an egg shape made of mild steel basically um, as you apply the water pressure when you get to here it'll start to stretch the metal well but the bits that stretch first they'll get here first and then it gets harder so basically they'll stretch to a certain point and then you can't really stretch it anymore unless you apply a lot more force at which point then you go up here and it's, it eventually snaps but it means that the bits that are still stretching have time to kind of catch up if you know what I mean until all the bits of the metal get to kind of here and they don't really want to stretch anymore now for aluminium it's completely different um, you've got the same situation where it'll stretch a bit and then spring back but if you apply more and more and more tension to it more and more water pressure suddenly it'll start to stretch and the problem I had is some areas wherever the metal's softest will stretch first and they'll start stretching quite a lot whilst other bits are still down here so I think with mild steel it's more forgiving you know everything stretches till it gets to here uh, and as you apply more tension the bits that have stretched hang around here and don't really want to stretch anymore and the other the pieces that are kind of lagging behind catch up not the case for aluminium so basically with aluminium the weakest bit will stretch the most and go bang first whereas other parts may not and they don't quite have the same opportunity to sort of catch up so it's all even so I think aluminium is the wrong material um, to use if I was using two discs welded together around the edge and I was just inflating them into a sphere that would be different um, but, but I already had an, a rough sphere shape um, before I even started so I wasn't trying to get to that point I was just trying to make it perfect um, so that might have been my problem so they've got a bit of metallurgy I've got this handle it was from eBay but you can see it's got a multitude of compression washers different fittings here 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 um, and that goes to my Neil Fisk pressure washer it's going to come in there and then so I'm going to take these screws out take this apart and see what we've got um, there's the tap called the BSP tap um, it was suggested by Colin Furze's website there's an adapter and the welding aluminium female piece that will go in the panel will fit one side of this adapter um, it was Sen 16th UNF was the aluminium fitting which needs to be aluminium because I'm going to weld it to the aluminium panel so then the other side caught a BSP so um, male so if we can tap a quarter BSP thread into some part of this with the tap then we're, we're in business Okay, that's what's inside. So, I'm going to start taking it apart from this end, see what opportunities to present themselves um, for this tap. Uh, work my way back to here. Right, well there's a stroke of luck. I undid that there. And you get this kind of washer which is like a rubber o-ring with a washer around it so it can't squirt out the side basically as the pressure builds up. Here's my adapter. That's that end is the one quarter inch BSP. This end is the 716th UNF. And you see that goes straight into there. Sorry. Hand. I don't know if it goes all the way down. Will it clamp the washer? Yes, it will. 
So if I use that washer on there, that'll work. That'll go into the aluminium panel. It will be quite cool to be able to use this trigger, but there's no way I'm going to uh, stand anywhere near the aluminium panel. The, 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 the egg I'm going to inflate. So I'll tape this in the open position, and then I'll just switch the pressure washer on and off from a distance. Okay, so there's the end of the pressure washer in there, to there, to there, clamp that shut, clamp that down like that with a cable tie, and then that will screw into the welding aluminium adapter female for the uh, my uh, welded aluminium box that I'm going to inflate with the water pressure. So if I pull that back, this should kind of pop out. Yeah, there it goes. See that's the connector, so that's great. That was a lot less work than I thought, and I know you actually didn't need to buy the tap either. So I've put the handle back together because I thought, well, it gives you something to hold when you're um, trying to connect everything up. So this will be a bit of a faff, screwing it round and round to get the, it into the aluminium, and then we'll just leave that lying on the floor with the cable running to it from the uh, pressure washer and stand well back behind a wall and then see what happens. <laughs>